What's going on, you two folks out there? We got one here. Um, I've been really upset trying to make this video. I originally tried to post it for my HTC Thunderbolt, which had a much better front-facing camera quality, but uh, back to using my Evo. I love the Evo, by the way. Don't get me wrong. Evo's a good phone. 4G, all that good stuff, right? Anyway, I'm a bit more calmed down. Um, I was, you know, cussing up the storm in the last couple of videos. I got really emotional, but, um, you know, my whole thing is that, um, you know, we have our president who, by the way, has waited, you know, a little too late to make this push, but he's making a push for jobs finally. And you have Republicans who, you know, got themselves put in office by the Tea Party uh, by asking where are the jobs, and they haven't passed a single bill dealing with jobs. They, they're, they're passing bills dealing with abortion. And, and, and you know, I, I could sit here and get into all, you know, the heinous details of what their supposed abortion bill is going to do to the rights of women, especially those who are sick uh, with labor uh, or, or pregnancy. But, but the fact of the matter is I don't care. I don't care about abortion as a topic. That should not be a focus in our society right now. It kills me because, you know, we, we have so much information out there, yet we become so distracted. Um, you know, we, we talk about the Arab Spring, yet we forget that Europe is experiencing turmoil also. They have protests out there as well. Every part of our country wants change. You have those out there who are now occupying Wall Street who are protesting in much the same form and fashion that we've seen the protests out there in Europe, out there in the Middle East. And we're being told by Republicans and, and, and other folks out there in the media that they're, they're, they're hooligans, that they're jealous, that they're failures. And, and, and I'm getting emotional again, but, you know, it, that's, that is just wrong. You know, I'm out there working... I'm out there working a job, you know what I'm saying? I, I could really get self-righteous with you and tell you what I'm doing and everything, but uh, quite frankly, it's nobody's real business just to know, just know that I am working, and, and, and I do that not because I necessarily have to. Um, with, with, with my position right now, if, if I really did not want to work, I could still sustain my family by not working. But I choose to work because I refuse to be labeled as, as, as part of a, a society that, that is weighing down everyone else, okay? Even though I would not be partaking of, of much government assistance. Unfortunately, if you, would have, uh, if you really need to know, I work a job and I make enough money to sustain my family but I still qualify for government assistance. Much like many of our veterans uh, or, or active duty soldiers in our military today. That is not me making up anything. That is me telling the truth. That is me telling the facts. And for us to be discussing abortion at a time like this really does not make any sense. I think that our country as a whole is waking up and realizing what many of these other countries are realizing, and that is that this country has been bought out by those who are very rich and very wealthy. And if we pay attention, if we honestly sit back and pay attention, we would notice that many of the laws and policies that have been passed and implemented do nothing but make the pockets of those who already have money fatter, all along while taking more away from those who are without or those who are barely struggling to keep what we do have. That is the problem. That is the problem. And, you know, they want to convince us that the trickle-down effect works. They want to convince us that because we have televisions and computers and cell phones and refrigerators even and microwaves that we're somehow better off. Yes, our quality of life may have increased for the better, but at the same time, our quality of life hasn't increased at all. We merely are living 
according to what our modern society is able to provide us. It does not mean that we are rich. It does not mean that we are stress-free. It does not mean that we can actually afford to maintain those items that we may have. You understand what I'm saying, you two folks out there? It does not mean necessarily that everything is honky-dory because it's not. Many of us are one paycheck away from financial ruin. If the money was to stop coming in for some reason, just for one month, many of us will find ourselves in a hole that would literally take months to dig ourselves up out of. And that is how a lot of people live. They feed us with these stories, with, with this, not the stories, but the notion that if we get an income tax check at the end of the year, we do not pay taxes, therefore implying that we should not have anything to say when it comes to taxation. Okay, when the fact of the matter is that many of us depend on that check at the beginning of the year, of the new year, to take care of bills that have accumulated from the past year. That is the truth. That is the fact of the matter. And don't ever let nobody tell you that you do not pay taxes. Because the fact of the matter is, the moment you get paid, you are out there paying other people. And along with the bills that you pay, you pay taxes. So don't ever let nobody tell you that you do not pay taxes. You tell them to their face that you do pay taxes. You are a tax-paying citizen. You do not have money in the bank. You're not hoarding it. You're not saving it. Most of us aren't anyway. And God bless you if you are because that is a good thing. But the fact of the matter is if you're out there paying bills, which most of us are, you are paying taxes. Don't let nobody ever tell you that you're not, okay? And don't, not, don't let anybody tell you that the government cannot afford to take care of you because you are not the job creator. Many of us will be able to create small businesses and hire maybe one or two people. And guess what? It's one or two people, but it is one or two people at least. You understand what I'm saying? It does not have to be Walmart to go out there and create jobs. What good is it to give a company money for them to create jobs if they're going to create nothing but minimum wage jobs? What good is it to have everyone employed when everyone is employed making a wage that they can barely support themselves off of? It makes no I know families that have both mother and father making barely over minimum wage, and they are barely, barely living. They're struggling to survive. And if you sit there and listen to some of these other folks out there, they would have you believe that that family should do without cable, <laughs> better yet do without a television. They should do without a cell phone. They should do without food even. They should be living off of ramen noodles because if that's what they can afford, damn it, that is what they eat. They don't have the right to eat anything else other than that. And while, I, while I, I'm with most people on the notion that it's not right for those who are milking our system to continue to milk our system, I have a problem with those who believe that people who are out there struggling, trying to survive, are worthless, are failures, are jealous of those who are successful. Many of those so-called successful people have met their success off of our backs, off of the people that work for them, off of the people that pay for their goods and services, off of the people who pay for the bailouts, the American taxpayer who paid the bailouts so that the government can give money to the companies so that the companies can pay bonuses to the people who are considered to be successful. Not failures, even though their country nearly put this country in financial ruin, and in many ways it has. Okay? We need to grow up. We need to wake up and realize it. And I'm kind of upset at the Tea Party. Now, granted, I still consider you guys out there to be a bunch of 
racist, ignorant, hypocritical folks. But if you are anything that you espouse to be, then I would expect you to be out there in support of those who are occupying Wall Street, in support of those who are the, considering the, themselves the 99ers, in support of those who are out there asking for Obama's new jobs bill to get passed, in support of those who would like to see a jobs bill voted on and not just more tax breaks for the rich. I don't understand how it is that we have a so-called grassroots movement based on nothing but rich people. Rich people don't go out and protest. That does not make sense. People, regular people go out there and protest. And you guys are out there protesting for those who have money. It doesn't make any sense. Again, I'm not out here to play along with this little, oh, this is class warfare. It is not class warfare. I hope to be rich one day. But guess what? When I am rich, I expect to be taxed accordingly. I expect a new burden to be placed on my shoulders because I've grown up with the notion that to whom much is given, much is required. That is the truth. When you have a lot, you have the responsibility to take care of those who do not. That is a universal law. That isn't something that was just made up. And this whole notion that if you leave the government out of that, that those people will take care of those is bogus. Because the fact of the matter is that we live in a corporate society, okay? And it's no longer up to the individuals. Sure, the individuals may give to charities here and there, but it's nothing. It's peons. It's nothing when compared to the multitude that the actual corporation makes, and a corporation is not a person, despite what they would have you believe that all corporations are people too. No, they're not. People are humane. Corporations are not. People give. Corporations do not. When was the last time you heard a corporation say, we want to give? We need to give. We need, no, you don't hear that. A corporation's job is to make sure that the corporation makes money. If you understand anything about business, a corporation cannot make the same amount of money that they made in 2010 and say that they are still in business. They would be losing business at that point. A corporation is to continue to expand and continue to expand and continue to grow. And even when they are done growing, they have to go out and find new ways to grow. That is what a corporation's responsibility is. Nowhere in there does it mention anything about charitable giving, giving money away or anything like that, because that is not what a corporation is meant to do. Sure, there are some businesses out there who put a good PR face for themselves. They go out there and they give to charity, they do this and that and the third, but granted, they are only doing what they can afford to do. Believe me when I tell you that what they are willing, not even what they can afford to do, because they can afford to do a whole lot, but they're only doing what they are willing to do to get their PR job done, to make themselves have a good face. That is all that is going on. Tea Party folks, I'm really disappointed because if you guys are truly a grass movement, you would be getting on your Republicans out there in Congress who are voting on an abortions bill. An abortions bill when you have nearly 10% unemployment. And I'm tired of this blame Obama. Hell, we can't blame Bush, but you guys can blame Obama when all he's done over the past two years is ensure that Republican Party stays implemented. He hasn't implemented anything that is socialist, Marxist, liberal, progressive in any way. He's done nothing but what Republicans have wanted him to do, and you guys still complain about him. It doesn't make any sense. We need to wake up because this country is going to go under. The reason why our credit rating was put down was not because of Obama. It was not because we borrowed so much. It wasn't because of the bailout. The reason that we were dropped from our AAA credit rating, and they said it, was because of our politics, because our politicians, they understand Okay, even though that may be a, a corporation in itself, they understand that our government has been bought out by those who are very rich and wealthy. And that is why you have such polarization between the two. That is why one side refuses to agree with the other on anything. That is why nothing gets passed. 
okay? That is why our country continues to go down. And they recognize that, hell, the United States of America is continuing to sink despite the fact that we have a, a, a fully functioning electric system where people are out there voting. But people are out there voting for the wrong people who are being elected for the right causes and turn around and do the wrong things behind our backs, mind you. Sometimes right to our face. My point is, why are we voting on abortion when there's so much more to be done? Why are we bothering with these distractions when there's so much more that needs to be accomplished? I've said a whole lot, and I'm glad I've been able to keep my cool. So, conservative opinions always a plus. We got one here. Peace.